Hi guys and welcome back to our tutorial series. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create the window destruction and I'm going to upload the model onto the site as well. I was going to charge for it but I don't see the point. You guys can go download it and um, just follow along. I recommend you do download it before you start watching the tutorial actually. Uh, let me just quickly sort something out. Alright, let's start. Right, the model comes in a folder called breaking window and um, the one you want to drag out is called window break it comes out really small like so uh, just extended so it's higher than the player but the window isn't too high I think that's about right okay now you notice it's got two separate windows one that's not broken one that's all into parts like this. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to highlight every single object of the broken one and that's in group 1, mesh 2 to 12. Hold select on mesh 2 and then click on 12. That should highlight all of them. Then go to component, physics, rigid body. Then components, physics, box collider. Now when these hit the ground, they all fall through, most of them, because the collider is a bit too skinny. So on the Z, on uh, Z axis for the size, extend it to 0 0.19. That should be alright. And um, that's okay so far. Now select any of the pieces you want. I'm just going to select always the middle one. Then go to components, audio, audio source. Now the audio source will come with a folder. It's called window break. Attach that there. And when you start the game, you should hear the breaking sound like so. And then you see the windows fall to the ground. Brilliant, beautiful. All right. This needs to now become a prefab. Now, when it becomes a prefab, it becomes a pain in the ass because you resize it again. So let's do that next. Inside the folder that you got when you downloaded, right-click on it and create a new prefab. Now, let's call this window broken parts. Uh, before I do something, let me just check something. Ah, that's why. Uh, click on window break and set skill factor to 1. And apply. Undo that. I made it way too big. Just leave it to 0 0.1, where it was. Yeah. Okay, back to the original size. Let me see if I can just set that single object in group one. No, you can't. All right, doesn't matter. Okay, so when you've done that, drag meshes um, group one. Just select group one, nothing else, and drag it into window bro broken parts. Now you'll see it won't attach group one. We don't need it, that's why. It will just take mesh 2 to 12 and that's what we need. Now the problem is, delete group 1, you don't need it anymore. And if you drag windows part, broken parts, you'll see what happens. They're so tiny, you have to rescale them again. So we can do that, that's not a problem. Windows broken parts and there they are. The only thing you can see is the bloody audio sign. Windows become so small, you have to stretch it. And I think that's about the right size. To make sure, just take your window and place it next to the original window, which is this one, and see if it fits in. If it doesn't, that means you have to rescale it again. Oh, it's a perfect fit, actually. Well, not really. I can extend it just a bit more. Like that. And bring this out like that. And then pull it forward. Brilliant. That's the right size. So that's the window sorted out. Save this. And update that prefab. Don't delete it yet. Update this one. Window broken parts. So the next time you drag it out, it won't be as small like that okay 
and um, for this one you want to tag this window if I can find my own my one window where is it window interesting all right let's add a new one go to add tag and windows there I couldn't see it interesting uh, yeah add a window tag if you haven't got it <clears throat> Oh, it's down here. We know. Save your scene. <clears throat> and the first thing you want to do is you want to create the Windows Health System. So go to your FPS script folder, right click on it, and create a new JavaScript. Call this Window Health System. Double click and open Mono Develop. and let's start adding the variables we need first one's going to be for window max health it's going to be a type integer it's going to be equal to 20 not 100 no window is 100 health although you'll be shooting it forever to break it next one's going to be for window current short for current health I don't write the full one it's longer and confusing to remember otherwise int it's gonna be equals to nothing actually leave it the way it is for window um, window current nope short for position the current position it's gonna be a type game object this is for the instantiation I just want I don't want to call it dead again and again I'm gonna call this window next one dead replace like that and we're gonna call this game object all right save your scene now once we've done that we need to create three textures for broken text text one and this is going to be a type texture now I'll explain what that is for a minute well I might explain it why not now all right copy this one more time and paste it underneath this twice this is basically for the window texture when you shoot it when the health is 20 we're gonna bring the cracks up and when it's zero it's gonna change to the broken texture it may sound confusing but when you see it in action you understand it and in here we're gonna say window current health it's gonna be equals to window max health okay just make the windows health to the max health now we don't need window sorry function update because we're going to be using the function we make and we're going to call this window apply window apply damage okay that'll be all right and inside this we're going to have if statements checking conditions first one is going to be if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace we're going to say if the window current health is less than zero then return back zero so we can't go lower than zero if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace and this time we're going to instantiate something we're going to say windows current is less than or equal to zero then instantiate but before this above this just type window oh, come on current minus equals damage and I forgot to do that again all right inside these two brackets write damage oops it's going to be a type 
integer so int this will become clear very soon if you've seen the shooting tutorial how to make a gun shoot you'll notice what I'm doing people who haven't you'll see later on well I do recommend before making this watching this story you go watch the shooting tutorial because you need to use that for this and um, otherwise you're gonna end up getting yourself stuck right now that we've done this we're gonna say instantiate open bracket and we're gonna say instantiate the new dead window the replacement so window window replacement and we want to replace this from what object and that's the window current position dot transform dot position comma you can just copy that line again paste it and change the last one to rotation 